Hey everybody, Tom Salemi here from Device Talks. We're talking about our agenda at Device Talks Boston, which is happening on May 1st and 2nd at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. I'm uh, really enjoying the opportunity to meet with uh, some of our speakers prior to the meeting and to help them share their stories with you. And uh, I'm particularly happy to have Scott Nelson, the CEO of Fastwave Medical here today. Scott, thanks for joining us in this discussion. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tom. Really looking forward to this chat, but also uh, Device Talks come early May. No, I, I love Device Talks Boston and Device Talks West, of course, but I, uh, Device Talks Boston is my hometown conference. But what I like about MedTech and I like about Device Talks is we, we try to really identify the problems in the healthcare industry that MedTech folks are trying to solve. And MedTech, the MedTech industry is all about targeting those problems, those, those bottlenecks, those weak spots in the industry, and, and creating new devices to to solve them and to treat patients and to, and to streamline the operation. So I'll get off my soapbox to talk about facts <laughs> FastWave, but the, the, the whole topic excites me, excites me. So what is the particular problem that FastWave Medical is trying to solve? Yeah, we're, we're designing and developing intravascular lithotripsy systems. So the acronym that's often used, um, at least within the cardiovascular space, is IVL. Um, and so the, the best sort of analogy that I often like to kind of refer to is, is plumbing, right? So uh, most of the most of those folks that are listening to this um, have, have probably uh, dealt with some sort of blockage in a pipe. Um, <laughs> In some cases, Drano, you know, simple Drano will work. Uh, in other cases, the blockage is too severe, too complex, and you need to call in a plumber. And in in, in sort of the, the plumbers in our case are interventional cardiologists and vascular surgeons. And oftentimes they're they're utilizing a a, a, a tool set, right? A tool bag of various modalities. Um, some of those include angioplasty, stents, I think, um, or, or scaffolding is probably the best way to think of stents. And um, atherectomy is another kind of uh, uh, technology as well. But IVL is part of that tool bag, right? And it's, it's, a, it's a newer uh, uh, category kind of in the space, um, but has, has proven to be especially useful uh, when treating complex blockages or complex calcium, whether it's in the legs or in the heart. Interesting. So IVL is a space that was developed by a startup. It's a true startup story. Shockwave developed it, uh, uh, developed the IVL system. Uh, so they're 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 out there in the market now. What is fa what is Fastwave doing that's a bit different? What is the 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 solution that you're bringing to this problem? Yeah, and, and to, to your point, Shockwave has done an, an incredible job, right, in creating this category, right, applying or taking technology that we've known for decades and extracorporeal lithotripsy for mm -hmm. for kidney stones and and sort of applying that. Uh, uh, inside angioplasty balloons. And so they've done a, a phenomenal job of not only creating a category, but executing uh, uh, commercially. Um, that said, there's there's some kind of some clear gaps um, that a lot of physicians would like to see addressed. Uh, and and um, may, maybe even even kind of, you know, zooming out a little bit, a lot of physicians just want to see more more options, mm -hmm. more, more IVL op, uh, sure. uh, options to choose from. And so some of those gaps that we're trying to solve for with FastWave uh, and the systems that we're developing are um, longer length balloons, right, to treat long diffuse disease, um, balloons that are a little bit more crossable and easier to, to traverse and navigate through through complex uh, complex calcium. Uh, in addition, um, oftentimes uh, physicians that are treating um, treating heavily diseased vessels want more energy pulses to work with, um, and so that's another area that we're focused on uh, at Fastwave. Interesting. So, where is is Fastwave in your development and? How do you, as a startup, uh, I mean, again, MedTech is all about startups taking on bigger challenges. Maybe maybe there's already players in the space, as there is in this case. What's FastWave's plan for the next couple of years, and how do you see yourself uh, engaging in, in the market? Yeah, we're, we're a, a reasonably young company, right? I mean, we uh, started the company, uh, officially formed it in early 21, and have made mm -hmm. some pretty pretty nice progress since then. So raised almost $20 million to date. Um, We've, uh, you know, got a number of patents under our belts um, and have moved, moved, moved quite rapidly, I would say, and, and actually just recently completed our, our first in human studies uh, in the in the periphery and are now, you know, focused on on moving forward into into pivotal trials in the periphery and then um, early stage clinical work uh, in, in in the coronaries as well. So, uh, one of the things that that we're trying to optimize for at FastWave is is obviously not only addressing some of the gaps that I mentioned previously, but also executing against those. Quickly and, mm -hmm. and efficiently, and in a, in a in a fast, you know, no, you know, pun intended, fast sort of uh, <laughs> fashion. And so that's one of the things that probably sets us apart uh, as as a company. Fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to having your story told at Device Talks Boston. You'll be a, on a, on a panel on IVL, and I'm really grateful you took a few minutes today to share your story and to be part of this conversation. Yeah, appreciate the opportunity. Thanks again, Tom, and really looking forward to, to Device Talks Boston uh, in early May.